When I was a kid in the 70s, when people thought of making money with your voice, they thought of two things, radio DJs and Mel Blanc. Radio announcers were smooth and booming, and we knew the voices for cartoons came from somewhere, but other than Mel, most people providing those voices were largely unknown. Plus, at that time, video games just went beep, beep, beep. I mean, Pong was pretty much it for a while. Now, of course, the games are much more advanced. As a comedian friend of mine says, if you got a time machine and went back to 1979 and showed a Pong player what video games look like today, the Pong player would be more impressed with the video game than the time machine that got you there. Voiceover for video games is an expansive, fun, and potentially lucrative field for voice actors. Like all other subcategories of voiceover, getting the attention of the casting director for games requires a good, solid demo, and finding scripts for the video games can be challenging. The good news is that I know a secret weapon in finding scripts that sound like video games, and that secret weapon is easily accessible to most, if not all of us. Video game writer and director Kal L. Bogdanov has written that most characters in video games fall into eight archetypes. The leader, the rogue, the pale rider, the weak protagonist, strong crazy, weak crazy, strong antagonist, and crazy antagonist. If you think about the games you play, you may find some of your favorite characters fall into these archetypes. Obviously, you don't want to just copy the verbiage of, say, Solid Snake, and you want to find some scripting the casting director has likely never heard before. So where do you go to find the words to put in your carefully created character's mouth so that you can build a quality video game demo? Comic books. It should come as no surprise that the medium that generated blockbuster films and corresponding video games would be a wealth of character-specific dialogue for those eight archetypes I listed above because, well, that's where those eight archetypes have been workshopped since 1939. You can pull lines of dialogue right out of those little word balloons to build a video game demo by finding a corresponding character to those eight archetypes. For example, the leader is the confident, effective, decisive character that the other characters rally around. Sure sounds a lot like Captain America in the Avengers movie, doesn't it? The rogue is the upstart who's good at what he does but often plays by his own rules. Hot-headed but confident in his ability to get the job done. Consider Green Arrow or Hawkeye. The best example I can think of for the rogue is Han Solo, who's been featured in comic books since 1977 as well. The Pale Rider is the grim, gritty lone wolf who works best alone and has no time for others. Batman, Daredevil, Jonah Hex all fit the bill quite nicely. The weak protagonist is the second banana, the sidekick who often finds him or herself in need of rescue. Iceman of the original X-Men, the Invisible Woman of the Fantastic Four, and of course, Robin the Boy Wonder could provide a few lines of suitable dialogue. Strong Crazy is the serious, disturbed bad guy whose motivation is based on the fact that he's just outright loony. No one will argue that the Joker personifies this beautifully. So does the comedian from The Watchmen. Weak Crazy is the person who's just been shattered by trauma and just hasn't recovered. Consider using dialogues from stories where Spider-Man is feeling sorry for himself for not saving his beloved Uncle Ben or whining about how he's going to pay Aunt May's medical bills. Sure, Spider-Man's a pretty solid rogue, too, but sometimes he can be awfully hard on himself, and he's been written with great, weak, crazy lines. Strong antagonist is sinister and rational. Cold, calculating. Cold, calculating, sometimes arrogant. Superman's arch-foe Lex Luthor is one of the best examples of this, as is Doctor Doom from the Marvel Universe. Darth Vader, too. The crazy antagonist is different than the strong crazy in that the character is desperate and not as calculating as, say, the Joker, who has everything planned out in advance. This is often the bad guy in panic mode who'll do anything to win and often isn't very bright. Remember Sandman in Spider-Man 2? Or the miscellaneous bank robbers that play Gotham City? These characters provide great color for your demo. Collecting lines of dialogue from characters like this will make the producer of your game demo's job a million times easier and will allow you to practice game dialogue without taking it directly from the games. To find comic books in your area, visit your local library, because most libraries have a comics or graphic novel section now, or visit www.comicshoplocator.com. <laughs>